My bloody vanity is here. So, uh, yeah, going to open this. This took me like an hour to unpack and set up because this, this is very heavy. This is not attached. It's just like landing here basically. But anyway, um, shout out to the Etsy store who did this for me. I will tag them below. This is like, so let me just turn it this way so you can see basically. Um, very impressed. It's not gonna stay here. I think I'm gonna put it against this wall and have it like right there. But obviously, as you can see, there's a lot going on in here right now. So amazing, I now have a vanity. Let me sit down and see a little situation. Okay, it's cute. The chair's a little wobbly, it could be the floor. Um, I don't know if this will be where I do literal work, uh, but it's very doable. I don't know if I want a separate desk or if I wanna use this as my desk and vanity. It's only 4.30. And uh, it's already this dark out because just winter in New York. Um, I have a grocery delivery. Anyway, Jesus Christ. Um, we're gonna go through my grocery delivery and what the hell I got because I don't even remember. Oh my God, this is heavy. Jesus Christ. I don't even recall fully what I got here. So let's give it a look, shall we? Um, while I, I am in my outfit, that is, this is actually Ollie Sykes brand. I think I, sh I, I showed this in some other video, but I haven't worn it like, really well out yet. I wore it on podcast, but no one saw that, like no one's seeing what I look like. Okay, so I have a head of cauliflower. I'm in a cauliflower, I, I would say phase, but like cauliflower is never just a phase. It's never just a phase. A fuck ton of carrots, cause carrots are my most widely used vegetable by far. Um, open this bag here. Jesus Christ. He was texting me. Someone. He's texting me. We have a spring mix. This is a good all-purpose vehicle for your entree needs. We have um, a large container of cold brew because they were out of the individual ones. I don't like this, but uh, I guess it reduces waste, I suppose. I have two kinds of tofu because I wanted to try one out. So I have just the normal extra firm tofu that I use, and then I also have chickpea tofu because I felt like being a little bit Exciting. I've never tried this, so we're gonna see how that is. Um, then we have two little things baba ganoush, which is my favorite topping, and these mush apple cinnamon oats. I really like these. Like these mush, I mean, I make overnight oats. Like obviously, I make them, it's so easy, but it's just fucking fun to have cool flavors already made for you. End of story. Um, have two other bags. I didn't get that much. This is like a normal grocery haul for me. This is not my extreme from the ground up haul because I have a, actually, this kind of is. Because all this is stuff that I eat like normally. I just don't, I already have onions and tomato paste, which are the two like regular things that I, I use. Um, we have, well, I got a bunch of no cow bars. I really like these protein bars. Um, I've never had this flavor, chocolate fudge brownie. I usually go for a more vanilla, lighter flavor. I'm not a big chocolate person when it comes to flavory things. I'll have chocolate, but it's like chocolate. I don't want it flavored. I have two bananas. These are not yet ripe enough to consume. It'll be like four days. Um, we have a mustard barbecue sauce because I didn't have that many sauces, so I wanted to get a mustard barbecue sauce. It looked interesting. I have cacao nibs because I had not had cacao nibs in my house for a minute, so I just have cacao nibs. Um, oh, I have cacao nibs, and then I'm trying out this salted caramel dark chocolate from Lily's because this does not have milk in it. Some of their flavors have milk in it, but Lily's is known for not using sugar. They use stevia, um, but this one did not have milk in it, so I got this. And then I have a tiny bag. Uh, what's in my tiny bag? It must be like one thing. It's probably one. Oh, it's kale. I just have kale, which I add to curries, and I cook it down. So this is basically the extent of my grocery haul for now um and off to open my other boxes because i have all those boxes over there too this needs to be a try on haul i have a set from i am gia i have a huge box of things from dolls kill down in here and i was like oh i'm gonna just do this for this video i'll do a try on haul like tomorrow because when i'm like already ready and shit i don't i don't feel like doing this right now um my friend chelsea is on her way over i need to set up this apple watch and film my um we're gonna be filming my february forecast today before she gets here so that's how i'm spending my next hour or so another night another concert in the meantime i'm going to talk about while i get ready and while i sound like a fucking cat with my 
thigh highs jingling. Um, people ask me a lot, like, um, sun versus moon versus rising, and why you should read your horoscope for rising, like I say, the difference between them. So I want to make it clear, basically, both in delineating a chart and also what they individually are, the difference between sun, moon, and rising, um, because it, it, it's literally, like, technical, and then also that means the meaning is different. So sun sign, or actually we'll start with rising sign. Rising makes the most sense. So if you're looking at a chart, the chart is like a fucking wheel. The rising sign is literally the sign of the first house. So the sun, the moon, the planets, those, I just stepped on a nail, Jesus Christ. The sun, the moon, the planets, those are all in the houses. The rising sign itself is a house, which means that it is an area of life. What is it the area of life of? It's the area of life of like you, my dear. It is your behavior, your personality, your your vibe. Um, so the rising sign is literally the area of life that represents you. You might have your sun or moon in there, adding detail, but like the rising sign itself is very much boom. This is the area of the chart that describes your personality, your mannerisms, who you are. Um, this means that the sun or the moon can show up there. It might show that one of your goals, which is the sun often, is literally like you being seen and you, your personality, etc. Um, or if the moon is in the first house, it could show that like you feel safe when you're seen and when you're given attention and when you're providing that light to others. Um, so the rising sign itself is the archetype that describes the behavior that you're putting out in the world. Let me put a little bit of this lipstick on. This broken half, it's going to run out in like a day, I think, because it broke and there's barely any left in there now. Uh, R.I.P. Shannon, you got me this. Thank you. I have used it like every day since. Okay, friends running late, so I just have extra time to kill, I suppose. Um, so... Rising sign, as we said, personality, character, the vibe of you in the world. Sun or moon may show up there, but it's the area of life that describes you, your vibe, your character. Sun sign often represents your goals, what you're going after, and the archetype of how you achieve knowledge in the world. Now, that might sound a little bit nebulous and woo, but it's not. So the rising sign is like the, the mannerisms of your behavior. The sun sign is more of like, oh, in the world, they really are achieving in this way. They are leading in the world. So the sun is an energy of light and of intelligence. The sun in the sky represents light. It gives light. It gives intelligence. Like light is intelligence. It's mental. So the sun is mental. So the sun is in a particular sign. The sun lights up that sign. Like the rising sign is already there. That's your behavior. The sun is then in a house. It's in an area of life. So like the sun represents intelligence, ideas, pursuing goals in that area of your life. The sign of the sun is the archetype. It's the character and the house is therefore the area of life that you're pursuing your goals in. So it's like my Virgo son's in the ninth house, very detail orientedly going after beliefs and long-term contemplation of philosophy. Um, so the sun is directing you to where you pursue knowledge and you pursue goals. Like I said, the rising sign is literally just your behavior in general and your vibe. Then the moon sign describes your emotional nature to feel safe. It's not just how you process emotions. It's literally like what, way of behaving returns you back to center. So the moon itself reflects the sun, meaning that it's a responsive, reflective energy. So what is our response in the world? Usually emotional responses. We can't really control what emotions we have. We can control our actions. Actions tend to be more sun. Emotional responses tend to be more moon. So the sign of the moon describes the archetype of your emotional nature. Um, your responses, how you return to center, how you return to safety. So rising sign, your personality, and the way that you behave. You might have other planets in your first house which show that that connects to another energy as well. Um, sun is in a particular sign showing the nature that you go after goals and that you want to be recognized and it's in a particular house showing the area of life that you do this in your moon sign is showing your emotional nature to return to center and return to safety and it is going to be in a particular sign that's the archetype and in a particular house it's going to show the area of life that you tend to feel safe uh, doing that in so i have the libra moon in the 10th house i tend to feel very safe oversharing my life online um so if that makes sense and not actually i did not mean it in that way i get mad at women who say if that makes sense all the time for me i literally meant like technically if that makes sense um so that is my little description of sun versus moon versus rising Rising. We read horoscopes based on rising sign because it's literally the area of life that starts the chart. The sun and the moon fall into houses. They don't start the chart. They don't dictate where the chart or originates from. Rising sign, like I said, literally rising. It was the rising point of the chart. It's where the chart like started in that way. So because of that, rising sign is generally like literally where we read the uh, horoscopes from because it kicks off like what 
It, it's literally describing where the chart begins. It does not, I don't give a fuck what you resonate with. Horoscopes have nothing to do with resonance. Personality quizzes are what has to do with resonance. Predicting events has nothing to do with what you relate to. It has to do with the skeleton of your chart. You can relate to like anything in your ancestry, in your identity, but like literally if you're at the doctor's office, what matters is your metrics. And that's kind of what the rising sign is. It's literally the skeletal backbone of what you're reading your chart from. So when we read a horoscope, it has nothing to do with your personality. So it has nothing to do with your sun, moon, whatever. What it has to do with is the order and sequence of life events and areas, which is set off by the rising sign. Um, so that makes sense. And you can watch my multiple videos on that if you just look up how to read your horoscope, Marin and you'll find them. Anyway, this is my fit for today. Um, I showed this before, but I'm in this IMGS skirt and this drop dead official top. Um, so this is from IMG, yeah, this is from Drop Dead, and this jacket is also from Drop Dead. Um, the inside of this jacket matches with this shirt, which is really cool. I didn't know that when I bought it. Um, and I'm wearing it with thigh highs, which need to be lifted up a little bit, and with my Gucci loafers. And this is just a very, I don't know, very, I feel like it's, it's comfy, it's a little bit chic, but not like super intense, um, and it's good for concerts. My friend Chelsea's downstairs already, and we're gonna go head over. back from concert. I actually got back. Actually, no, probably like an hour ago. I'm very, very tired, so I'm gonna end this vlog now, but I just, I've been staying up because I am newly obsessed with the song Sympathy by Too Close to Touch. I've heard this song, but I had not heard it, I guess like consciously before last night or tonight, tonight basically, as of like an hour, hour and a half ago. Um, Bad Omens covered it, and it's like a, such a beautiful song, and like listening to the lyrics, like Oh my god, I almost started crying. If you look at these lyrics and just like know me, like I guess a lot of people can relate to these lyrics. So I'm not gonna, you know, claim like, oh my god, I feel so, but like, oh my god. So I've just been trying to like learn this. I'm like just really congested. Um, so if I look like I've been tired, congested, I am, which is really inconvenient when I'm like trying to basically I, like I said, learn like scream, how to scream, being congested really does not help. Um, but I've been up trying to like learn this song basically. Um, there's no screaming in this, there's no intense screaming in the song anyway. Um, I'm gonna get to bed. I did not really get to um, film as much as I wanted to today because of just delays and insanity, but I will be back tomorrow. Very, very busy week uh, as always. However, it's weird to think that Vlogmas is almost like half through, like if this is the 12th, if, if it's now the 12th, like as of the recording of this, yeah, it's the 12th at like 1 a.m. on the 12th, we're like halfway done. Crazy.